good. I think he's very compassionate and along with the care that he has for the students, he has the knowledge of content and methods and ways of working effectively with people that made him very effective at getting the kinds of results that we're looking for in education. He is able to take struggling students and to incrementally give them the academic skills and the confidence that they need to go on and approach projects and subjects that are at a more difficult level than they ever could do before. Dragon Academy is, the theory behind it was to bring education to people who learn a little in a little more hands-on way. We did hands-on projects and our learning instead of uh, sitting at a desk and writing all the time. It was more get to move around and people who have a tougher time focusing in a regular class. You know the kids feel valued. You know they feel cared for. You know they want to be there because he makes them feel like they're important and they are part of, of something bigger. My hope was to make, make school be a little less about homework completion and have it be something where students wanted to come to class, that they were actually doing things instead of sitting in a desk doing worksheets. With Dragon Academy, we try to serve students that um, struggle with school or struggle academically. Sometimes that's just because academics are difficult for them. Sometimes that's because life outside of school is hard. There are kids that tend to not be really involved with with sports or music or other things. They just don't have a lot of connection to the school. And our hope was to give them a place that feels a little, a little more like home uh, and offer some consistency and a reason to be at school. I would describe Dragon Academy as a project-based learning environment where kids are doing hands-on work, where they are using standards from the four core content areas. So they're working on math, they're working on English, they're working on social studies, they're using all of the standards and putting together projects that are more relevant in a lot of their lives. Well, first time I went to Dragon Academy, I mean, it was totally different and I got out of the high school, like the whole program where you'd get to school and then you sit down and open up your computers and that's how our school is. And then I got to Dragon Academy and it all changed. It went from a computerized, something computerized to something where I could actually get hands on. It was actually like a more experience where I was more involved in the task. Before Dragon Academy, I was a procrastinator and then I actually got into Dragon Academy and I, I learned that you actually got to keep up with your stuff and it, they made it in a fun way. It was fun. Usually it's right about that time when I actually get to see my students graduate after working with them for five years. It's a long road for some of those kids. Uh, my dream for my students is for them to have hope, to have joy, and to not just struggle all the way through life. Success is a lot more than just grades. Success sometimes is really small, and sometimes you just have to keep plugging.